You're watching the news summary on Geo.tv. I'm Mohsin Abbas. Parliamentarians from Pakistan and India suggested a number of measures ranging from expediting trade agreements to making the parade at the Waga Atari border more ceremonial and friendly. In a joint statement issued at the end of the two day talks, they noted that the time was ripe to consolidate the relationship between the two countries and pitch for liberalization of the visa regime at the earliest and resolution of long standing disputes such as Siachen and Sir Creek. The Reserve Bank of India has permitted foreign direct investment from Pakistan into India. In a notification, the central bank said a person who is a citizen of Pakistan or an entity incorporated in Pakistan may, with the prior approval of the Foreign Investment Promotion Board of the Government of India, purchase shares and convertible debentures of an Indian company under foreign direct investment scheme. At least 16 people were killed while several others were injured during three separate US drone strikes in different areas of North Waziristan. Meanwhile, Foreign Office spokesman Mozum Khan says Pakistan is in contact with the US leadership and various options are under consideration for the resolution of the drone issue. Attorney General Irfan Qadir says the Prime Minister is not answerable to the court in exercise of his functions and according to the constitution he cannot be summoned to court. The Attorney General adds that he did not know whether the Prime Minister will appear before the court on 27th August. Neither did he know how the court would react if the PM failed to appear before the court. A gunman and one other person were killed and numerous others wounded during a mass shooting at rush hour outside New York's Empire State Building. Initial details remain sketchy, but the FBI quickly said that there appeared to be no link to terrorism. Police sources told local media that the shooting was related to a workplace dispute. Former Test cricketer Mohammad Akram has been named as the new bowling coach of the Pakistan cricket team. According to the head of the coaches committee in Alam, Akram has signed a one-year contract.